Josepha Madigan has called for the end of gender titles and language like chairman and spokesman. She even suggested that the County Kerry newspaper, The Kerryman, should consider a change of title. Michael Healy Ray, independent TD for Kerry. What do you think of the idea of the Kerry person, Michael? Well, to be honest, I wouldn't agree with it. And I think this is really political correctness gone mad. And might I just start off by saying on a personal note, I, I truly believe that uh, Minister Joseph B. Madigan is a very good person. I, I really like her a lot. As a politician, she's very dedicated, very sincere. So anything that I'm saying is in no way me saying bad things about her. OK, no, I accept it. Accept it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so please accept that. But what I'm saying is, like every one of us, I could come out with something tomorrow that you might think is outrageous or your your listeners might think they'd be totally opposed to. So no one of us ha- has a monopoly in life of being right all the time. No, no, fair I enough. Really Absolutely. Mean, what so, what about so. this though? Look, I, I mean, a bit of me kind of agrees with you and kind of sort of rolls my eyes. But then like another bit of me says, well, like half the population of Kerry uh, are, are women. Like, isn't there something a little bit sexist in the title, the Kerry man? Oh. OK, can I answer that? Yeah. The, the, the editor and manager, or manager, I suppose I should say, the CEO of the Kerman newspaper is a lady who has come out herself publicly and said, as a woman and as the CEO, as the boss of the Kerman newspaper, she has absolutely no problem with it being called the Kerman newspaper. I, I think some people go on with this political correctness in the hope of it being seen as popular amongst people, uh, in particularly women, that, because they might be offended. I've never yet in my life heard, I'm, I'm selling the Kerman newspapers, for instance, in my shop, with uh, 30 years perhaps. I've never in my life heard of a lady come in and pick it up and saying, well, you know, this is an awful headline on this paper to have the heading, the Kerman newspaper. I, that's political correctness gone mad. And I think that at a time like this, that government ministers, be they senior or junior, should have better things to be worrying them about. I mean, the next thing then, what we'll have to do so is the Count Caller of the Dáil, that title should change. The Cahir of the Shannon, that should change. The manhole in the ground by the local authority should not be called a manhole. It should be called a person's hole. The Kerman newspaper should be called it the Kerry person. This is absolute balderdash of the worst type. I really See, it's it, Michael, but to come back to, like, again, a lot of me agrees with you, but there is a little bit of me that says, if we're actually going to change things, if we're going to have true equality, you know, then maybe we do need to look at, at these issues. And, like, maybe when you walk in and see the Kerry man, like, why is it the Kerry man? Why, like, I know it has been for 100 years, but that doesn't necessarily... Maybe we need to actually start saying chairperson. Uh, we need to start using neutral uh, titles. Uh, and if it's the Kerry person or a different name, maybe, maybe that's part of the moves we need to make. OK, can I put it to another way? When a horse is born, you have... You have uh, a mayor, you have a stallion, yeah. you have a bull, you have a heifer. Yeah. These are titles because they are genders. So are, are we going to say in the future that even our animals can't have a gender title? In other words, you can't have a boar. No, you can't no. Have a and look, I know the I point you're making, and I'm yes. not. I'm to we be honest, I'm not a big no. fan of. I'm not a big fan of. You know, you can't call. You can't say a, a, a woman because you know uh, for for a whole. I'm not. But I don't think we're talking about that. We're talking about a product that is read by both men and women, and is called. And look, I, I'm not having to go with the Kerryman, but it, it, this is the example we're talking about. We're talking about a product that's read by both men and women, and it's called the Kerryman. And subtly, at some level, that does send out a signal that men are more important but, than women, does it not? But, but no, it doesn't. And, and I think that people who harp on about this, I think they're really just going over the top. Can I give another example? One thing that I was totally opposed to, uh, was when gender quotas were brought in for political parties. In other words, if you didn't have a certain amount of women candidates, yeah. uh, you were fined, a monetary fine. Now, I thought that was probably the most ultimate insult to women that was ever put upon women, and I'll tell you why. 
Did anybody ever ask themselves, we're always saying, why don't more women into politics? And yeah. I think that there obviously should be more women in politics because any women politicians that I deal with, I find them to be very uh, good at their job, right? So let me start off by saying that. But did anybody ever think maybe it is that women are too sensible to enter into politics? Ah, come that on. They might... That's well, not no, the reason. Just... That's not right. the reason. Okay but, okay, but just let me finish this point. Do you not think it was an awful insult to put a price on women's candidature in elections. I don't. I, think I don't. I think, I, think sometimes, well, I think sometimes to I radically think change things, Michael, you need radical measures. And we need more women well, in politics. And I think that well, radical measure was well, justified. Well, no, well, I think it was a radical measure that was actually an insult 